Hey guys, uh, just gonna do a quick video here on a recipe that I use for uh, it's a, a breaded batter, like a flour batter for uh, chicken and potato wedges or taters. Here in Atlantic Canada, we have a, a food chain, Mary Brown's, famous for their chicken and taters, uh, a lot like KFC. Um, so I got a homemade recipe, gonna show you guys the ingredients. Um, and uh, trust me, I've had it for years. It is an amazing, amazing flavor uh, for putting a batter on your chicken or your, your potato wedges. So, uh, as you can see, quite a number of ingredients, flour, onion salt, salt, cayenne pepper, black pepper, oregano, garlic powder, thyme, and white pepper. And uh, I'll uh, mix all the ingredients together. Uh, once you get it all together, I'll show you. Anyway, th this this <laughs> this particular uh, batter, I haven't had it in a while. But even though it's not as healthy as you know, that's something you're gonna eat every day. But trust me, you don't need to go out to Mary Brown's or KFC and spend ten, twelve dollars for a small chicken sandwich and a few uh, potato wedges or or taters. You can do it all yourself at home, and it's just as good, if not better. And um, you can have the choice of either uh, deep frying it, or you can bake it. Whatever you think is healthier, whatever, well, obviously bacon's healthier, but whatever you, whatever you prefer. So anyway, all these ingredients, I'll, um, I'll show you what, like, basically, I'm not going to go through the exactly how to or whatever. What I'll do, I'll tell you the, uh, the list for flour. You want eight cups of, of uh, flour, uh, half a cup of salt, half a cup of MSG. That that's I don't use MSG. That's optional. Um, you got three tablespoons of oregano, three tablespoons of black pepper, uh, one tablespoon of white pepper, one tablespoon of thyme, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper one tablespoon of garlic powder and a tablespoon of onion salt combine all those ingredients I'm gonna store it in a mason jar um, when it's all done and you just basically take out whatever you're gonna be using for future meals right so that's that uh, I'll get it all mixed up show you what it's like uh, basically all you do is uh, you use a couple of beaten eggs and all you do is you dip your chicken or your potatoes, whatever you're, whatever you're cooking with it, um, and you mix it in the flour mixture and cook it from 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 to 20 minutes. That's in in an oven, conventional oven. Uh, it can be a little bit quicker if you're deep frying it, but uh, basically with deep frying, you just basically go by the color of the batter. Once it's nice and golden brown, then you take it out. So I think less than 10 minutes I think is all it takes uh, in a deep fryer so uh, again it's one of my favorite recipes and um, it doesn't like I said, it doesn't take much other than putting it together and then over and over and over you get to you get to enjoy it so anyway I'll get back to you guys show you once I get it all uh, put together hey guys so uh, I'm back so all the ingredients in there except for half a cup of salt put that in I'm going to get out of the light here. So that's all the ingredients combined there now. As you can see, it's pretty large. Um, it's not quite going to fit in here, so I'll have to mix. Once I get it mixed up, I'll be putting them in both two sealed containers. Uh, keep the moisture in that out of it. So what I forgot to mention was uh, not only is this good for chicken and uh, potatoes, but like... I'm interested this year in, in trying with uh, wild game with um, whether it be duck breast, uh, ptarmigan breast, um, it can be used with anything, uh, grouse, pheasant, you name it, whatever's in your area. Uh, try this batter with it and, and just to, to experiment and see what it's like. But anyway, it's, uh, it's a pretty good recipe. I'm going to mix it all up here. Again, um, I don't use MSG because I don't like MSG, but if you want to use MSG, by all means do so. You just 
just want to mix up really good your flour and your salt and all the other, like to say, your garlic powder, your onion salt, your cayenne pepper, your thyme, everything, your white pepper, your black pepper, it all wants to be mixed up nice and, and evenly throughout the, the flour batter, the mixture. And once that's done, put it away. And whenever you're ready, like I say, all you use is a couple of beaten eggs to, uh, before you put into this breaded mixture here, the flour batter. And um, like I say, cook it on 350 to 400 Fahrenheit for about 18 to 20 minutes. Uh, that's in a conventional oven. If you're gonna be deep frying, I'd cut that time in about half. And you can say, I use it with potato wedges, which Taters is the local name. I use it for, uh, with chicken breasts, so you can make your homemade Big Mary's, uh, with the sesame seed bun and the uh, lettuce and the real mayonnaise, and uh, of course the dill pickle. Is anybody out there uh, got any ideas about uh, this? Is I don't know if you call this Southern style or what you would, but it's similar to KFC. So anyway, I got this pretty much mixed up pretty good here. I, uh, I encourage anyone out there that likes Mary Brown's 